Well, isn't that an intro and a half? What's up guys, my name is Xversus, and today a new series is starting in the Xverse Place Cinematic Universe. Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Rescue Team DX. Who? If you haven't heard of this game, um, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon is a spin-off game of the original Pokemon games by Nintendo, developed by Spike Chunsoft. It is one of my favorite game franchises of all time, next to Call of Duty and all the other games not like Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. And the basic story is that you are a human turned into a Pokemon into the Pokemon world and you are basically the messiah that will bring peace and just save the world from whatever catastrophe that is going to go off. I played Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Sky on the DS. It was fucking amazing, one of my favorite games of all time. But sadly my DS and 3DS died and now they are both in service on Buda in Budapest. So now I can't play it. So I got Yuzu emulator, which is a Switch emulator because I'm too poor to get a Switch or a Switch Lite. And a copy of this game on cartridge cost 20k Hungarian forts, which is a scam. Not even Xbox 360 games costed that much back then. That, that was like 6k. And as you can see, I named my character Joey. Yes, with two E's. I am currently level 20. I am part of Team Mate. And I have like 9 hours of playtime. And I already got Zapdos. And now you might be asking, but X, aren't you like supposed to start from the beginning when you start a new series? from And do all the personality tests and whatnot? Yeah, but like I have 9 hours of this game and this is my first playthrough, so go fuck yourself, I am not going to <laughs> delete uh, my savings. So, let's just jump in. And according to YouTube statistics, 100% of y'all still aren't subscribed. So, if you are a fan of Mystery Dungeon games like me, or just love Pokemon, or just want to stick around like I do funny shit, Stick around, hit the subscribe button, hit the like, share, everything. It's easy, it's free. So, a little bit of context. Um, last time I had to reset the recording because for whatever reason the music sped up in the entire game when I started to sprint. I shit. What the fuck? Hey, hey. <laughs> why is it like this? So now I'm super cautious about sprinting, so I'm just gonna walk. Spin. Um, a bit of context. Um, on the story-wise, we are mid-game, where we need to meet up with Zatu in the Great Canyon, aka the Grand Canyon, but Pokemon edition. Um, who, according to Alakazam, part of Team Act, can tell me why the fuck am I a Pokemon? Also, just asking, how the fuck does Alakazam have the IQ of 5000, but not have a single fucking clue why am I a human turned into this cute little monkey? Look at me, I'm fucking awesome. Um, my team is currently teammates, and... It consists of Joy the Mudkip, who is me, Chicky the Chikorita, who I chose as my partner in the beginning of the game, and Nata the Pucciana, who is named after my girlfriend. Shout out. We are currently in Treasure Town, or the Square, and this is basically your regular ass shopping part of the game. This is the Felicity Bank where you can like um, deposit and withdraw all your poke that you collect 
these are the Kecleons, one of my favorite duo from the entire game franchise. They are your basic merchants. Miss Kangaskhan, you can't have a game without Miss Kangaskhan. She is wholesome. She is your basically big grandmother who stores all your items. This is Gopin, who links your moves together so you can use them at the same time. Super, super useful. And down here, we have the Makuhira Dojo, where you can farm XP and shit. And yes, I am going to be voice acting every single character in this game. But don't expect girly voices, because I fucking can't. And as you can see, our rescue team rank is bronze. I have been on the grind lately. So let's just check on the Kecleons. Hello, welcome to the Kecleon shop. Take all the time you like. Rock, rock, rock. Rock the way just. Yes, gimme. I love rocks. Rocks are fucking useful in this game. Believe me. We're just gonna go into team selection. Click on the team. Give items. And give all the rocks to Nata. She is fucking amazing throwing rocks. Like, she's an expert sniper. You give her, like, seven rocks, she's gonna make them all count. And I... And I'm not saying cap on this, because I saw what she can do. Welcome to Kecleon Words, where, where you can find TMs. Brick Break, Flame Charge, Skull, Stormies, Dragon Tail. Well, I don't have any Poké on me, so I guess not. Okay, does it speed up now? Bigly Tough has had a glow up. In the Rescue Team games, he's, um... Well, he's here selling you camps. While in the follow-up, the Explorer games, she is the leader of the Bigly Tough field. So my theory is, really tough. Used all the money that you spent on her, on his camps, and used it to basically um, establish the Wiggly Tough Guild in Explorers. Got it. Okay, here we go. Camps, camps. We all love camps. Ha! Yes. That's what I'm gonna use for that. Congratulations, you made the Overgrown Forest Camp. Okay, I spent a good chunk of my money on that. I'm gonna take some out of Felicity. Welcome to Felicity Bank. Your, your account contains 2,249 Poke. Let's do draw. We'll just do. I just realized how cringy this is gonna be. Oh yeah, and Percy and the uh, version? Percy and gives you a daily gift whenever you come to Felicity Bank. Or an Ormberry, that's useful. Oh, I didn't mean to go on that. And off to Grand Canyon we go. And yes, this is my house. It's epic. Actually, no, I want to eat gummies. So let's go to the camps. <laughs> yeah, let me show you the teammates I have. So we got Nata, right there, level 20. Reggie the Rat. Hi, my name is Reggie. I like guys. If you know, you know. Engineer Gaming. Engineer Gaming. <laughs> because this is a set tree, and instantly I just realized that I want to name them Sentry, like from TF2, and then I just realized Engineer Game. <laughs> we got Maggie the Magnemite, Vovo the Voltorb, and the Ella Kid. 
So up first we got Yamaha, Weed, Dust. Flyway first we got Pigeon and Pigeon. In jungle we got Egg, Sunkiss, and Bitch. Yes, I hate Sunflora with a passion. Because in a dungeon, like, there are so many Sunfloras and they were so fucking annoying. I legit, I legit almost screamed whenever a fucking Sunflora showed up. I hate him. And in Safari we have Nishi, Duolingo, and Tartar Sauce. <laughs> oh. Okay, so there was no gummy eating, and let's just get to it. Grand Canyon, Grand Canyon, Grand Canyon, Grand Canyon, Grand Canyon. This is a great canyon. The peak is called the Hill of the Ancients. According to Alakazam, the Hill of the Ancient is on 4th 13. Zato should be there. Joey, let's do our best. I thought it's gonna be bigger. This OST is a fucking vibe, I'm telling you. Oh, big dungeon. And yeah, in order to progress through the dungeon, you go through the stairs. Dance parts. And yes, I got my hand on Blizzard, the most OP piece of shit TM in the game. Like, I just use Blizzard in a room full of... in a monster house or something, and just wipes out everyone. Blizzard is fucking amazing, and I'm abusing it like a child. See what I mean? She's throwing it over the wall. And yes, I taught Chicky how to use Solar Beam because it's also opiate shit. Oh my god, that's so cute. Fuck you. I am the cutest motherfucker of them all. Get the hell out of my way. Oh my god, it's so cute. <laughs> nice. Ah, oh, but it's gonna have more rooms. But it's just corridors and shit. I'm not sure if this has a boss fight or something. I'm, I'm pretty sure it doesn't. It's just lore shit. Bruh. Uh, that's bad. Stunning basically means that I can't use any moves. See, it's all blurred. I can't use anything. What if I have anything on? Through a sleeve seat. What the f Bitch! The fuck? It just one-shot me. This fucking slug one-shot me. Get the fuck out. Leave me the fuck alone, man. Can I live? Can I motherfucking live? And yes, when you beat the shit out of certain Pokemon, they realize that, oh shit, you guys are OP as fuck. Let me join you so I can farm off of you. Let's just collect all the items here. I 
Ow. Why is everything so OP in here? Do I have enough uh, fucking orange berries and shit to not die in here? <laughs> Probably, but like, I'm just paranoid. One of the most annoying things... What the fuck was that? Oh, if I had a fucking blast seed on me, I would fucking eat that shit in front of you. Don't follow me, bitch. Go fuck yourself. I said go fuck yourself. Multi-hitting moves are so fucking annoying. And there's 10 more floors of this. Oh, we got Blizzard. A, a thing that's just as annoying as multi-hitting moves. See that orange thing in the corner? That's your belly. If you don't eat or run a bunch or just do anything, that thing goes down. Which means if your belly drops to zero, aka you fucking starve to death. It's so annoying. But it's a trademark thing for the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon experience. And see, sometimes things like this happen when you are just surrounded by your own teammates. So you have to push one around, spin, and boom. It makes your belly drop. Oh, it's a whole poke. Blizzard, fuck me dead. I sh I just shot a homeless person. Oh, dessert. And yeah. Sometimes, this happens. Where a user just decides to go fuck over. But sometimes, a good slap on the... A good slap on the tower helps. Come on, you piece of shit. And see, just nothing happens.